y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Today I'm gonna to be filming my updated everyday makeup routine and I'm so pumped about it because I feel like I've been consistently using the same products pretty much like throughout the years, but I do have some new favorites to share with you guys. So let's get into it. I haven't filmed a makeup video in so long, so I'm really excited to share with you guys my most recent favorites in my beauty collection. First, we are gonna start off with this tool. This is actually a face shaver, and I have been loving this recently. This has been my secret to getting a smooth face for your foundation base. So you can get this little tool on Amazon, and I'll obviously link all the products I talk about in this video down below in the description. Basically, I use these more on my my cheeks because I have a lot of peach fuzz and then I also use it on my sideburns and over here in this area so I'm gonna go in and clean up my face after you shave your face it is the best feeling it just feels so smooth and now we are ready to get into the base of my makeup I really think that this product right here is the secret to my foundation routine. This is the Elizabeth Arden Miracle Oil, and I just remember Kim Kardashian talking about how much she loves this product. So I was really interested to try it, and I have been putting it under my foundation. And disclaimer, I do have really dry skin, so if you are already oily, I don't know if I would recommend this, but if you are dry, definitely try this out. It will make any foundation super glowy and also moisturize your skin, which is very important. So I'm just gonna spray maybe one spray on my hand and rub this all over my face. While that oil absorbs into my skin, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with this brow pencil. It is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I'm not super picky with what I use on my brows, except that it has to be a pencil with a really small tip. I've been recently looking back at photos of when my eyebrows used to be super dark, and I think it's because I used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, so... I don't know. Maybe stay away from that if you don't, if you haven't perfected your brow routine. It is also easy to have a heavy hand with pencils though. So, I mean, it's really whatever your preference is, but I feel like I can really get like the perfect amount with this pencil. Um, so I'm going to go in and hopefully it doesn't die on me because this is literally the last of the pencil. I definitely need to order some more, but now shipping is taking like a week or more because of the whole quarantine situation. I try to go in as light as possible, just filling in the sparse hairs because those photos just really haunt me with my dark eyebrows. So now natural is just the best way to go. Recently, I've been loving two foundations. This one is my tried and true, and it's actually from the drugstore, so it is the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal. They also have a Pro Matte, which obviously, if you're oily, then I definitely recommend that one. It's very, very matte, so for me, since I am dry skinned, it just feels like my skin is about to crack, but it's really, it's a really great foundation if you are oily. So I definitely recommend the Pro Glow or the Pro Matte, and plus it's at the drugstore, super affordable. I think it may be like 50 dollars max this one is my high-end foundation that I've been using right now because I'm like my winter color I haven't really gotten any tan in me because obviously we're in quarantine and it's been really just like not great weather in Austin so I haven't really been able to get out and get my natural tan so this is the foundation I'm gonna be using today this is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation and I honestly really really like the sheer glow better than this I'm just really using it because it's like in my beauty collection and I at the time I was gonna go back for sheer glow but then the makeup artist was like oh you should try this one so I tried it and then I was like dang it <laughs> I liked the sheer glow better so I'm just gonna try to get rid of this and then maybe purchase the sheer glow next time I don't know I feel like I'm just really hooked on this foundation though it's just like a darker color and it 
doesn't match my skin at all. I'm probably just gonna use this when I get my natural tan back. But anyways, this is the color Syracuse in the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And then for the Pro Glow, my color is 209 Caramel Beige. So hopefully that helps if you are similar to my skin tone. So I'm gonna take it on my beauty blender and I started to wet my beauty blender lately. I know that's a normal thing to do, but I haven't been doing it because I'm lazy. But honestly, it is worth the 30 seconds of getting up and wetting the beauty blender. I just feel like it really just absorbs the foundation in really well. I can't really explain it, um, but here we go. I honestly wouldn't even say that this foundation is dry, um, but I just really like to put that face oil underneath just to give it that extra glow and moisture. Next up is concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm in the color Medium Tan Sand. I've been using this concealer for years. Like I don't even know how many because it's just been so long. I'm gonna apply this right under my eyes, my nose, and my chin. Oh, and also on my eyelids. Since we are still in the cream phase, I'm gonna be using this contour cream. This is the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in the color Tan from Huda Beauty. And what's really cool about this product is that it is a cream product, but it turns into a powder, so it's really nice and blendable. I don't necessarily use this on an everyday basis, but I do use it when I want my makeup to be a little bit more dramatic and I want my contour to really be snatched. The next step is to set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and dip it into the powder and then put it wherever I feel needed. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the powder on my lids. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the Desi Katie Friendcation Palette from Dose of Colors. This palette is so beautiful and I wish I could show you the colors, but the shimmers are all broken and I don't wanna like make them fall out. So we're just gonna keep that flat on the table, but I'm going to go in with the medium brown color. This color is called Churro. I'm gonna apply it all over my lid and just pack it on really, really good. Now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and go in with kind of like a tan shade. It's like more of a neutral tan shade. And this is really just gonna help to blend out the crease. Today, I kind of want to add glitter to my look. So I'm going to use this Laura Mercier Baked Eye Color in the color Terracotta. They have a lot of other colors that are really stunning, um, but this one is my go-to if I literally just want to up my everyday makeup routine and put on some shimmer. So I'm just going to apply this color to my lid with my finger. I'm going to take the same fluffy brush and dip it into that blending shade that I used before and blend this out. Now that eyeshadow is done, I can go ahead and wipe off all of the powder. So we're still gonna work on eyes, so I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and curl these lashes. So now we're gonna go in with eyeliner. I like to curl my lashes before because sometimes if I do it after I put my eyeliner on, I feel like it takes the eyeliner off my lids. We are gonna be using the Glossier Pro Tip. I'm obsessed with this eyeliner. I honestly wasn't really into eyeliner on the top lash line for a really long time. When they came out with this, they sent it to me and I fell in love with eyeliner again. And now I feel like naked without it. I don't normally do a wing. I really just put a line on my top lash line. Now we're gonna get into mascara. So I'm gonna be using the primer part of the Honest Beauty Mascara. I love this mascara so much, but it's drying up, so I need to get a new one. Um, but sometimes I do use the brush to separate my lashes because that brush is like bomb. Um, but like I said, yes, we're gonna use the primer side. The trick with this primer is to apply it and then wait for it to dry and then go in with your mascara. While that's drying, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. I'm just gonna place this everywhere I place my contour. Then I'm gonna take this brush, it actually came with the Hula bronzer, and I'm going to contour my nose. So just gonna go down the sides of my nose and right under it. And then to give me the button nose illusion, I'm gonna put some bronzer right in the middle of my nose. Next, I'm gonna take this Ofra blush in the color Raisin. It is the most perfect tone for my skin. I am obsessed with this blush, and it's lasted me so long. 
Next, I'm gonna grab this big fluffy brush and just blend the contour and the blush together. Now we can get into mascara because the primer is definitely dry by now. For my first mascara, I'm gonna be using the Man Eater by Tarte. Recently, I've been starting on the top of my lashes and kind of brushing them down and then brushing it normal. This just helps to coat my lashes a little bit better and to make them more voluminous. I'm gonna let this coat dry and then go in with another mascara. Now I'm gonna take the Roller Lash by Benefit and this brush is amazing. It has that curved style and it separates your lashes so well. I've also been using this mascara for years now. I waited a little bit to let that dry. So I'm gonna be using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. So there's obviously something missing and it's my lips. <laughs> so we're gonna do that as the last step. I have been obsessed with lip liners lately in general. This one is my new favorite. It is the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude 2. I'm gonna line my lips with this and then fill it in with a liquid lip. This is what the lip liner looks like, and honestly, I feel like I could just fill it in and wear the lip liner as a lipstick, but I've been really loving the true nude lip look recently, so I'm gonna be taking the Dose of Colors liquid lip in the color Knock on Wood, and I'm literally just gonna put like three dots of this on my lips and just smack them together. This is my completed everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in checking out any of these products for yourself for your everyday makeup look, then definitely check out the description below. All the links will be there. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.